Howdy, gang. Might be my new sign, or not too late. Howdy, gang. I've asked a tarot reader for YouTube advice. This is a pre-recorded video that she sent me. It's seven minutes long, so we're just going to watch it live together and see if we can get any little gems out of uh, what the spirit world is telling us. Hi, Marcus. Hope you're doing wonderfully. I'm Chanel. Very happy to connect with you and do this reading for you. She's got the right voice for it. First thing I want to do is just check in on the overall energy when it comes to this channel of yours. How would you categorize the energy of this channel? I'm not too sure. I think she's got a work cut out for her. Okay. So, this is what I want to start with. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Fool coming through here. And this is a really exciting energy. This is definitely just letting you know that you're on the right track when it comes to your YouTube channel. Itty. And that honestly, there is nothing but infinite potential when it comes to this channel, which means that you can actually take it all the way. Um, also, what I'm seeing here is that it is going to require a certain level of lightheartedness. You know, sometimes when we're doing our creative work and we're trying to mix business with it, we can take things really, really seriously and it can change the frequency of that business. So, I'll be honest with you, I was going to come on here and just take the piss out of everything she said. That's proper advice. Because sometimes, you know, in this game, you're working hours and hours on end, as well as a full-time job as well. I'm not moaning, I'm not. But sometimes you do lose sight of why you're doing it, and it's important to remember to have fun. Let's see if she can continue. So what you want to do is keep things fun, keep things like light, lighthearted and focus on making like meaningful connections with people, because that's what I'm seeing here. It's about a very strong frequency and about you bringing people together who share common interest and uh, common values and things like that. And I just see that for you, it's going to be important that you really make those connections, make them meaningful and that you're there's some levels of collaboration. So you want to ask yourself in which ways can you um, collaborate with others? Maybe you can get on other channels. Maybe you can bring other people who inspire you onto your channel. Shit, she's two for two? Yeah. Yeah, she's right. It's me in a loft at the minute. Is there something to this? Ask yourself. Maybe you can even allow your audience to be a part of what you're creating and what you're doing. And it's just about a, you know, that co-creation, that collaboration. And I feel also for you that you have a lot of knowledge and wisdom, I'm seeing. Something that you can share, but from like various perspectives. Because essentially I'm seeing that you have a very open mind and a very interesting way at looking at things. And one of your unique edges can be introducing how you're looking at things, but also leaving some type of platform where your community or your audience can participate in that discussion. And there can be just like this shared um, space. Do you know, I'm not joking. That is something I'm really struggling with at the moment. As you can probably tell by my videos, there's not there's very minimal engagement and I would love to build a community. Is that for three for three? I think it is, love. Thing is, it could take time for you to, um, you know, build a channel and to get to a point where you really, really want to be. But Temperance really asks you to be patient and to trust the process and to know that as long as you're just being consistent, showing up and doing doing the work, but again, from a lighthearted, playful, fun energy, then things are going to happen for you a lot quicker than they I could get emotional, actually. You often do lose your trust in the process because you're not getting anywhere for so long. Uh, a video could take you a week and no one watches it, no one likes it. But that trust in the process is so important. She's got me fucking pegged so far. You would if you weren't doing that. And again, you see this kind of like a, a balance with give and take, give and take. So the message is that you don't want your YouTube channel to be all about you just putting out content or information or whatever you're sharing. The key to your success personally is going to be in the co-creation, the communication between you and your audience. It's like a shared thing, you know, and that's how I see it really expanding and growing. I'm seeing that twice here. You see how you do have the sun behind you. 
That means the sun is backing you up. That means that it's very, very powerful, your channel, and the potential that it has to reach the right people at the right time and with the right message and frequency. That's what's going to help it to really, really expand and grow. Authenticity is another thing that I'm seeing here for you energetically. You just want to make sure that you're showing up in your most authentic way. Remember that you're not for everybody. You don't want to try to be for everybody. Just be yourself and you will naturally attract the right people towards you. You will naturally attract the right community that you want to work with on a soul level. Just fucking spot on. Just in the, in the terms of the community side of things. If you do watch my videos and you like anything I've done, can you just pop a comment um, and let's start building this community because I really, really only did this to lighten people's day and that's genuine. Obviously, monetary, long term, I'd love to do this as a job. But primarily, primarily, I know there's a lot of money to be had. I'm not going to pretend there isn't. There is a lot of money to be had in YouTube. Um, but primarily, I genuinely want to recreate some of the videos that have helped me escape sort of thing. So if you do like anything I've done, pop a comment and let's start building a community, man. You know, give. I, I could do a giveaway. I've got three quid. Yeah, let's see what else wants to come through for you. Any other guidance? I'm going to shuffle. Align with your purpose. Yeah, so this is just about staying the course, being authentic, and remembering why you started this channel in the first place. Because, you know, throughout the time, it can be very easy to lose focus of that as you're focusing on growth and things like that. So just, just remember to always go back to the, the beginning, the why. What is the purpose of the channel? Really be clear on that authenticity be real absolutely yeah we just discussed that you know just being a hundred percent yourself and not really trying to appeal to everybody you know you're going to appeal to just the right people when you're a hundred percent authentic that's another good point with the youtube as well because um there's a lot of voices around you when you start this stuff um i ask my friends for their opinions on stuff all the time and I sometimes do pander to that advice, probably too much. You know, someone gives me an idea for a video, I just go with it, as opposed to thinking, well, actually, is that what I want to do? And that's really important, I think. I really need to do more of that. Do I believe in tarot readings now? Enjoy the journey. That's the full energy, too, you know? Just being happy, optimistic, positive throughout the journey. You know, try not to focus so much on the end game or the destination and try to just center your awareness and your full presence in the here and now. Like every day you want to show up and ask yourself, you know, what am I being inspired to share today? And then do that, you know, and just take it day by day, one step at a time. And you will find that honestly, you're going to find even more success than you initially thought was possible. That's what happens when we have the full energy because there's infinite potential. That is solid, solid YouTube advice for anyone. I don't care who you are. Be yourself. Don't pander. Remember why you're doing it and have fun. There's times where I'm not having fun anymore. I'll be honest. And I really need to remind myself as to why I'm doing this in the first place. And it's for you. Believe it or not. I love the building a community part as well because i think that's something i'm lacking maybe some collaborations that sort of thing but i would really 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 love um to build more of a community and know a bit more about you so if you did like this video give us a comment let us know who you are what you like about the channel and let's see if we can build a rapport for crying out loud but yeah solid youtube advice all round well done lovely nails as well how would you categorise the energy of this channel? I'm not too sure. I think she's got a work cut out for her.